Hey, what's up guys? So, I just saw today that 17th Shard, the fan site, released an interactive map of Roshar and a timeline. So I kind of just wanted to make a quick video of exploring this with you all. And since Rhythm of War is dropping in two weeks, I wanted to go ahead and take a look through this. So obviously, I am going to expect that this is kind of a full spoiler kind of deal. I have not looked at this yet. I don't know exactly what all it entails, but I assume this is going to encompass all of the Stormlight Archive up to this point. So if you have not read it, spoilers beware. Real quick, just based on the link, and I'll have it down below. So we're seeing they're finally happy to announce the interactive map and timeline of Roshar. So it's basically a refresher of events before Rhythm of War is released. So let's see that. Ooh, they got a trailer. Welcome to Roshar. Over the past few months, Paleo and Joffrey and 17 Shard have been working to put this interactive. And I'll probably just chop this up because I don't want to get like copyright claimed or anything. I don't know. Shards, each event hmm. has been mapped to the location it took place. So select. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Will take you to exactly where and when that event happened. And it doesn't stop there. There is definitely spoilers here. Copper mind will be displayed alongside the event, which includes more. Wow. Links to the related pages. This is the kind of shit you need for these kind of books, man. The map also comes with a series of filters to display different overlays on the map. That is so cool. Okay, so for all you lore nerds out there, I, I'll be doing this as well. This is going to be the kind of thing to deep dive. Um, this will definitely lead to a lot of Stormlight content as well. This is awesome. Super cool. Yeah, so for all you guys that um, comment on any kind of Stormlight videos of mine where I may have missed things, it's because I'm not this kind of person. These people are kicking ass and doing fantastic work and really bringing this all together. Um, I do not have the time to deep dive into something like this, but this is fantastic. super cool i mean this is just a fan fan run project so i mean an interactive map where you can go time and place you know select characters where you know who is where during these books that's super cool um like everything's labeled detailed timelines it's wow it's like it's got the copper mine incorporated directly into the map that's super awesome, man. Um, and this is constantly going to be updated. So here is the actual map with, of course, the new symbol. So we've got the map here. So up to the end of Oathbringer, obviously. So it doesn't sound like they have Rhythm of War stuff in here yet, which is probably a good... I don't know if they're going to be adding it before the book actually comes out since we're up to 17 chapters now in the yeah 17 chapters are available right now to read which yes i'm on chapter 14 of rhythm of war because i'm doing the audible narration for it so we got the the whole map of roshar here so let's go all the way back let's just see roshar's creation so you click on you know the little point in the map says you know 20,000 years previously talking you know here's artwork provided by the artist the copper mine excerpt more on the copper mine takes you directly to i mean this is awesome this is going to soak up a lot of time let's see oh wow so we got like overlays okay so you have the basic timeline which is super cool oh there's a show oh. <laughs> this is so cool. I just love the the design of this site. Um, obviously, this is all like lore and stuff right here. This isn't even to the the first desolation. This is you know all pre book one. Um, so this timeline goes all the way up to what? What is happening? Okay. So the state of the world okay so that's super so it's giving you kind of like a layout following the end of oathbringer 
and like where everybody stands that's awesome so you got neutral factions here in shinovar you've got all of odium's forces you got a bunch of dalinar forces so it tells you location who was involved so i wonder obviously you shouldn't be looking at this if you aren't caught up on the books i'm wondering if it says anywhere um like yeah so we saw that uh like it's obviously through the end of oathbringer right but i'm wondering you know the battle of thalen field that's the battle i was talking about in my oathbringer review this is like the infinity war battle that happened so cool um but i wonder it, it doesn't seem to say like which book this is obviously the timeline is you know sequential order but so like if if you didn't know for some reason that this like which book this happened in i don't see any kind of like excerpt saying okay never mind they're smarter than me oathbringer right there chapter 122 they even have exactly when it happened i don't know why i expected anything else but that's in there so that's super cute so if i just click on like azir for example let's see what happens just a little excerpt about it. Um, what if I go to like Jacques Hebed? Just related locations, main, you know, characters. So we click on Shalon. You know, excerpt about her. Related characters. Yeah, there's just so much work. Okay, so what I wanted to see though. So if I zoom out. Okay, so we got the whole thing. So if I click on settings you can hide certain things or tag certain things i guess so if i hide history that'll take out everything pre way of kings you can hide certain characters from the timeline i guess or focus on certain characters or like i guess is this like a hook in the middle yeah display separately so you can see like specific timelines of events based on the character instead of everybody you can go specifically by book, so we're going to hide Edge Dancer because it's worthless. <laughs> so yeah, this is super cool. Like You can focus in on, you know, specifically, here's the moment of where Edge Dancer is useless in the timeline. Uh, Way of Kings. You've got Overlays. So the Silver Kingdom, Shadesmar. That's cool. It's like the Upside Down. Awesome. And the current state of the world, which is like the very last thing that I scroll to. So super cool. Um, definitely. I mean, I just wanted to do a quick, you know, video for this, just covering what this is, that the fact that it exists, you haven't seen it yet. Uh, if you don't use the copper mind already for Sanderson's Cosmere books, you should, as long as you're caught up. I mean, there's spoilers everywhere. This is kind of like when you start reading wheel of time and they say, don't Google anything similar situation here. Cause you will get spoiled for a lot of stuff. So again, do not use this if you are not caught up on Oathbringer because there will be spoilers. Uh, you don't want to click on something and get spoiled. So I assume as soon as Rhythm of War drops, they'll update this for that. I don't know if they're doing it before or not. Um, do they say? Yeah, once timelines for Rhythm of War and Dawn Shard are finalized, they'll update it. So that could be before or after ahead of the, the published uh, book date. So definitely keep that in mind uh if you do like the work of 17th shard of course they do have a patreon there you go it's a tip jar they're only asking a dollar look at this they have a discord and all kinds of stuff you know what let's go ahead and uh become a patron live in this video because this kicks ass and every dollar helps so if you love cosmere you love this kind of stuff i mean they're creating kind of crazy content yeah i mean i'll probably up that later but there you go so that's a thing that exists super cool let's get this up let's get them the 500 dollars. why not there you go commissioning artwork for community artists let's go copper i mean these, these people are doing this out of the goodness of their hearts and the love for the books you got to support this kind of stuff so super cool just wanted to share that hope you all enjoyed like and subscribe as always. There will be a lot more Cosmere and Stormlight Archive content coming up in the future. Keep an eye out for that. 
may or may not be with some collaborations as well. Um, join the, my Patreon if you do love the content and want to support my channel. That is, of course, always optional, but always appreciated. And hop in Discord, and we can talk more about Cosmere stuff, because it's awesome. But um, until next time, guys, keep reading.